What's up everybody? In this video, you will learn how to exploit any database vulnerable to SQL injection using the tool called SQL Map. I upload really cool ethical hacking videos on this channel, so if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell button to get notified anytime I upload a new video. If you're just hearing SQL injection for the first time, or you're not sure what SQL injection really is, this video will not just show you what SQL injection is, but will also show you how to carry out a successful SQL injection attack. Just a quick disclaimer, this video is meant for educational purposes alone, so I won't be liable for what you do, the knowledge gained from watching this video. With that said, let's dive straight into what SQL injection is. SQL injection is a code injection technique used to attack data-driven applications. SQL injection allows an attacker to manipulate the SQL queries that an application sends to a database, allowing the attacker to have unauthorized access to information or data such as private customer details, sensitive company data, usernames, emails, passwords, medical records, etc. If you don't have SQL map already installed, head over to sqlmap.org to download the tool or you can simply clone the tool from GitHub. Links are in the video description below. We'll be using SQL map to scan for SQL vulnerabilities on our target testphp.vulnweb.com. To scan this website for SQL injection vulnerabilities, we'll say SQL map hyphen U. U stands for URL. We'll input our target URL next, http testphp.zoneweb.com. Now, SQL map can't scan for vulnerabilities on this target URL because it needs dynamic URL that contains parameters that could be tested. So now, let's get a dynamic URL by modifying our SQL map scan syntax. We'll be adding hyphen hyphen form to our syntax. Okay, great. We now have a dynamic URL. We can now scan for SQL injection vulnerabilities. SQL map hyphen U our target hyphen hyphen batch. Batch will automatically provide the form inputs on behalf of the user. Cool. We now know that the backend database management system is MySQL. The web server operating system is Linux Ubuntu. The site runs PHP 5.6.40 and Nginx 1.19.0. Let's enumerate the database using the following commands SQL map hyphen u or target URL hyphen hyphen dbs hyphen hyphen thread equals 3. DBS enumerates the database while the thread option allows the user to define the number of concurrent requests to be sent by the SQL map tool. The thread option is very helpful as it tends to reduce the overall testing time but it should not be kept to a higher value as it may affect the accuracy of the scan result. Okay, so we've got a quartz database, information schema database. Let's extract the tables for database aquat using the following commands SQL map hyphen u or target URL hyphen d aquat. Yeah, this stands for database and hyphen hyphen tables whoa great let's take a look at what's in the user's table let's scale my hyphen u hyphen u acquired hyphen t users column Next, we will dump the data in the user's table. SQL map hyphen u target URL hyphen d aquat hyphen 
few users have anything done. We can now see the username, email, password, name, phone number in the user's column. If you got questions, feel free to ask down the comment section. Hope you found this video helpful. If yes, don't forget to hit the like button and also share with others. You can follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at bstef underscore. Thanks for watching. Hoping to see you in my next video.